The idea that ER equals EPR might explain the opening of portals. ER equals EPR is a conjecture proposed by physicists Leonard Susskind and Juan Maldacena. It suggests a deep connection between two seemingly unrelated phenomena, Einstein-Rosen bridges, commonly known as wormholes and quantum entanglement, the mysterious link between particles that exist light years apart. At first glance, these ideas appear to be worlds apart, one rooted in the fabric of space-time, the other in the spooky action at a distance. However, ER equals EPR posits that these two concepts are actually different manifestations of the same underlying reality. Imagine a pair of entangled particles. When you alter the state of one, the other instantaneously changes no matter the distance between them. Now picture a wormhole, a tunnel through space-time connecting two distant points. ER equals EPR suggests that these entangled particles are connected by a microscopic wormhole, a bridge that spans the vast distances of the universe. So, how does this relate to the idea of opening portals? If ER equals EPR holds true, it implies that manipulating quantum entanglement could, in theory, allow us to create and control wormholes. This means that the same principles governing the behavior of tiny particles could potentially be used to open portals through space-time, connecting distant points in an instant. But what exactly does ER equals EPR mean? It all started with two groundbreaking concepts. First, we have wormholes or Einstein-Rosen bridges proposed by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen back in 1935. These are theoretical tunnels connecting two separate points in space-time. On the other hand, we have quantum entanglement, the EPR paradox, brought to light by Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen, also in 1935. Fast forward to 2013, when physicists Leonard Susskind and Juan Maldacena proposed an astounding idea. What if these two seemingly unrelated concepts are actually the same thing? They suggested that a wormhole is equivalent to a pair of maximally entangled black holes. In other words, ER bridges and EPR pairs might just be two sides of the same cosmic coin. Why is this important? For decades, scientists have struggled to reconcile general relativity, which governs the large-scale structure of the universe, with quantum mechanics, which rules the subatomic world. ER equals EPR could be the bridge pun intended that connects these two realms. Here's a fascinating twist. Susskind and Maldacena envisioned that by gathering all the Hawking particles emitted by a black hole and collapsing them into a new black hole, this new black hole would be entangled with the original. Essentially, you'd end up with two black holes connected by a wormhole, solving complex paradoxes like the firewall problem. But wait, there's more. This conjecture extends even further to suggest that any entangled pair of particles, regardless of their properties, could be connected by Planck-scale wormholes. This could mean that the very fabric of space and time is fundamentally woven by entanglement. The implications are staggering. If true, ER equals EPR could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, offering a unified framework for space, time, and gravity. Imagine stepping through a doorway and emerging in a completely different part of the universe or even a different dimension. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But could it be possible in reality? Let's start with wormholes. These theoretical constructs, also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, suggest that two distant points in space-time could be connected by a tunnel-like structure. If we could stabilize such a wormhole, it might serve as a portal, allowing for instantaneous travel across vast distances. Recent advancements in both theoretical and experimental physics have brought us tantalizingly close to these ideas. For instance, the ER equals EPR conjecture we discussed earlier proposes that wormholes and entangled particles are essentially the same thing. Researchers are also exploring the concept of traversable wormholes. Essentially, ER bridges are a type of wormhole, connecting two distant points in space-time. The concept of ER bridges was first proposed by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen in 1935, hence the name. These bridges are solutions to the equations of general relativity which describe how gravity works. While ER bridges are fascinating to think about, they remain purely theoretical and have not been observed in reality. However, they continue to be a popular topic in science fiction and theoretical physics, as they offer intriguing possibilities for faster than light travel and exploring the cosmos. Imagine a universe where traveling to the farthest reaches of space is as simple as stepping through a doorway. While we are still far from making this a reality, 
The study of ER bridges and their potential applications keeps scientists and dreamers alike captivated. As research progresses, who knows what new doors, both literal and metaphorical, might be opened. Quantum physics, despite its many successes, has several unresolved issues. One of the most significant is the incompatibility between quantum mechanics and general relativity. While quantum mechanics excels at explaining the behavior of particles on the smallest scales, it fails to account for the gravitational forces that govern the universe on larger scales. This discrepancy suggests that our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality is incomplete. Moreover, phenomena such as quantum entanglement and the measurement problem continue to puzzle scientists. Quantum entanglement, famously described by Einstein as spooky action at a distance, defies our classical intuitions about how particles should behave. When two particles become entangled, the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This instantaneous connection challenges our understanding of space and time. The measurement problem, on the other hand, delves into the heart of quantum mechanics itself. It questions how and why the act of measurement causes a quantum system to collapse from a state of superposition, where it exists in multiple states at once, to a single, definitive state. This mysterious process has led to various interpretations, each posing more questions than answers. These unresolved issues highlight the gaps in our current understanding and suggest that a more comprehensive theory, one that unifies quantum mechanics and general relativity, may be necessary. Such a theory, often referred to as quantum gravity, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In conclusion, the ER equals EPR conjecture opens up fascinating possibilities in the realm of physics. It challenges our understanding of space, time, and the very fabric of reality. As we continue to explore these mind-bending concepts, one can't help but wonder what other secrets does the universe hold? While we've delved into the complexities of quantum physics and the mysteries of entanglement, it's clear that our journey is far from over. The quest for a unified theory, one that seamlessly integrates quantum mechanics with general relativity, remains one of the most profound challenges in modern science. 